No introduction needed. Let's get into today's video. Now, this is a request to review trading with Kumar. So let's get into this video. But first, I'd like to apologize just for the sound of my voice. You can probably hear an echo. Um, I tried to record yesterday, but I'm hit with this echo. I'm just currently abroad in the mountains in Austria. So this is the best I could get. Um, and I'm so I'm hit with sound issues today as well. But I'm just going to go ahead with it. I'm just going to record. So let's get into trading with Kumar. So we're met with the caption, put your buy orders when you see this. Interesting. In your buy orders, when you see this, in an uptrend, you'll see this occur between two candles. It is a price gap between the first candle's high and the second candle's low. This is the rising window candlestick pattern. Yeah, the way correct. it works is during an uptrend, a market correction will stop at this window. So a market correction will stop at this window. At the, a rising window is essentially a fancy word for a gap, right? Gaps occur when you have market volatility, press conferences. Um, you remember banks can still trade on the weekends, and so it can form that that gap. And so when it when you have that gap um, between two candlesticks, generally what, what likes to happen, what tends to happen is price likes to go and fill that gap. So the gap closes. And what I mean by that is that price would, would go to that same area and it would kind of fill in with a candlestick wick or candlestick body. And that's the gap closed. That's generally what happens. But what Kamara is saying that is in a, in a correction, price would like to go to that it doesn't have to be a correction. I mean, when a gap is formed, it could close in an hour, it could close in a week, in a month, in a day. Euro USD about about what about a year ago took eighteen months to close a gap that was at um, at the bottom. Bitcoin's a perfect example of gap closures on the CME charts. So it doesn't have to be in 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 a correction. Gaps can close anytime means it is essentially becoming a support level. If price cannot close below this window, it signifies support against any selling pressure. Let's look on the chart. So even if price closes below, it could just be a fake out. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's acting as some some, some sort of support. Remember, guys, a rising window candle formation is actually a it's actually a bullish momentum signal that is going to continue in that direction. Not necessarily what you're saying that price is just going to return. It's actually a bullish continuation pattern. So let's look on the chart. We see prices moving up, and then we have the formation of our rising so window. The gap. As you can see, price begins to consolidate. And you can see that the, the gap is filled here, right? So this is the, the gap filling. You can see price coming down. This was open. So you see this price movement here, where it's come down a little bit. Price has not closed yet until the whole gap is closed, either by a wick or a candle body. Now the gap is closed. So yes, this is correct. And generally what happens is that Look, there's other factors involved. Look, there's a clear bullish engulfing here, telling you that price is probably going to go up now. And so... 100% that the remainder of this video will be price going up. Let's just see. Using the rising window as an area of support. Buy orders in and there's a... Yeah, so <laughs> inevitably, it's not that it's not that simple. There are other factors in play. You can't just get a gap fill and then just, just place a, a buyer or sell in, in, in whichever direction the gap is in. Um, it doesn't quite work like that, but that's the, 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 the method. Gap. I hope that helps. Also, check out the Trade Success University. And so, yeah, the remainder of his videos is just some of his links and stuff to his own courses, I assume, as well. So that's my review of trading well. with, with Kumar. Now, I had a look at his TikTok, and there's a lot of very credible information on there. A couple of tweaks here and there on some on some patterns, but generally the gist is there. So that's my review with on trading with Kumar.